One of only two movies directed by veteran actor L.Q. Jones, A Boy and His Dog is a cult sci-fi thriller from 1975 set in a Mad Max-style post-apocalyptic Earth, where society has divided itself into two rather twisted slices of madness. We follow Vic, an 18-year-old boy played by Don Johnson, who walks through the desolate wasteland that is the world, thieving and scavenging, with the help of a telepathic dog he calls Blood. Yes, this movie's best kept secret is that it's both a very adult science fiction film with some genuinely disturbing elements, and it's also got a sense of humor, not to mention a talking dog. Before you picture a cross between, like, Steel Dawn and Show Dogs, I should point out that A Boy and His Dog is a much better and more interesting movie than these two combined, not that this is much of an achievement. This is a truly messed up and unpleasant depiction of the future, one that's a lot more daring and repellent than most science fiction films, so be warned, it does contain some pretty graphic scenes a la Clockwork Orange. The world above ground is one where men have monsters who kill and enslave each other, where rape is an everyday occurrence, so it's particularly scary to see our protagonists not only fail to criticize the society, but not even try and actually take part in it. Vic and Blood, along with Quilla, a young woman they met along the way, discover a city underground called Topeka, in which a seemingly more civil society has prevailed, with Quilla's father, played by Jason Robards, being part of the ruling committee. Topica, it turns out, is also quite messed up in its own way, and Vic eventually rejects it. This is one movie the likes of which you rarely ever encounter. It's the kind of film you see once and remember vividly long after. This unsettling vision of the future in a passive way in which our supposed heroes have accepted and adapted to it, along with the dark sense of humor throughout, especially when it comes to the shocking ending, makes a boy and his dog a hard film to forget. If you're not expecting anything from it, it's likely to send a few probably unwelcome surprises your way. For such a low-budget film, it really makes quite an impact. With a premise as potentially silly as this, it's a miracle that it never turns into a joke like the much campier Barbarella or even Zardoz. It will turn off some viewers pretty quickly, but a boy and his dog is frankly kind of a must-see. It's never particularly pleasant, but there's something fascinating about this world gone mad and it's odious inhabitants who have resigned to the folly around them, regrettably, without much resistance. It's a weird one.